Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another hands-on. This is not an unboxing because I already opened this. Not only that, I bought this uh, used or secondhand. Uh, very clean, very clean secondhand. I guess you can say it is the Steinhardt timepieces right here. It is the Ocean 39 GMT. So I'm just gonna box it up even though I already boxed it up so you can see. Here's a box right there and then we have a Steinhardt with some uh, wrapping paper and here it is right here on the box underneath it's just a wrapping paper and more boxes and this is it right here. Now I bought this because I needed a GMT and a GMT that does not that does not look like a Rolex certainly and so let's open this baby up and here she is so the good thing about uh, Nomon watch is it, it comes with this card and it shows you different um, width uh, lug width right here um, or even strap width 24 millimeters 20 meters 29 meters uh, 20 meters 18 meters Nomon watches right here and then here's your uh, instruction booklet right here and let's put this on the side and you see that style heart right there and then here's the watch right here absolutely gorgeous the black and blue and then here's some extra links and your there's your bar barcode right here so this watch is certainly quite uh, hept or heavy as you can tell it has a, uh, a sapphire uh, Di uh, glass on it with anti-reflective coating underneath or inside the glass and the bezel is actually stained uh, ceramic this whole thing right here is actually stainless steel compared to the titanium the bigger version of this watch not only that it comes with the ETA movement with this GMT gonna open this up as you can tell it's a double clasp right there it has a milled bracelet it also has a screw links solid screw links absolutely beautiful there's your GMT hands this is ocean right here 39 GMT 500 meters the reason why this is uh, 500 meters is uh, it, it's only uh, unidirectional right here can tell it's not bi-directional for the usual GMT and it does it is centered compared to my Seiko's or other big brands out there so it's absolutely beautiful again the case size is let me get into the specs okay the case size of this is 39 uh, millimeters diameter it comes with the uh, Eta movement 2832 Dash two, certainly it's a German brand Steinhardt, but it is Swiss made. The dials or the markers are printed instead of applied. As a satin uh, brush on the top with polish on the side. I have some fingerprints on there, obviously. And then lug width comes with 20 millimeters. A lug to lug is 47 millimeters. It's actually 13 millimeters thick water resistance all the way to 500 meters and it has a sapphire glass on the dial not only that it also has sapphire glass underneath it has a case exhibition as you can see it has all the specs and it is automatic hand wind screw down crown so let me just show you how this would work that's see it's moving it doesn't have a jumping hour hands there's your GMT hands and then if you scroll down below there's your date that's moving so I'm screw screwed down again and overall I actually like this uh, watch right here um, I was looking for a GMT watch and I got it I don't think I need to buy any more GMT 
unless it's a good price. On the wrist, I have a six and a half wrist right there, 6.5 inch, as you can tell. It absolutely looks beautiful with anti-reflective anti coating underneath it. Sorry about my sweaty hands, it is kind of hot in here with all these lights. And I will do a loom shot. The loom shot is absolutely spectacular on this watch. And again, it is a GMT. And the thing I noticed about this looking at the instruction is that they say that do not set the date between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. I guess you don't want to mess up the timing. Not only that, you have the black, which uh, represent for night, and you have the blue, which represent uh, sun or your daytime. Daytime on the bottom, and then nighttime on the top. And so that's basically it for this uh, hands-on. I'll do a review later. For now, it's absolutely looking great, and I hopefully you enjoyed this video of my hands-on of the Steinhardt Ocean 39 GMT. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Here is the loom shot. All of the numbers are showing on the bezel, including the markers and the hands.